What's good? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy Matthew Shack, live here in Los Angeles. Welcome to Matthew Shack Unfiltered. Well, the whole Kanye West situation is something that I have not discussed on this channel at all, because uh, it didn't it didn't have any effect on me. It didn't matter to me what he was saying. Um, but due to the fact that I'm a sneakerhead, lifetime sneakerhead. Um, and shoes and the sneaker community is important to me, man. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk about this situation that happened today. Uh, Kanye West, uh, his deal with Adidas has been formally ended. Uh, and uh, now Forbes is saying that he is no longer a billionaire in regards to their uh, rankings. And He's hemorrhaging money and and he's just uh, self-sabotaging his, his career and and uh, he's being canceled. As far as all that's concerned, man, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I don't give a shit. Anything that goes on with that man, that man is his own man. What he does doesn't affect me at all, bro. It never has. I've never owned a pair of Yeezys in my life. You see who I'm rocking with? I'm rocking with the checks, not the stripes. I always have. I'm a former Nike employee. I'm a Nike. Uh, um, uh, I got a lot of friends that, that are high ranking in Nike. I'm also a Nike uh, stockholder. I've only had one pair of Adidas in my life, man. One. And they tore on me when I was playing basketball in the game. Never wore them again, bro, in high school. Not a supporter of Adidas. Don't have a problem with them. I don't wear it, okay? But with that being said, hey man, any man or woman that's willing to put their livelihood and their likelihood on the line and put their situations on the line for what they believe in, hey man, whatever, don't have nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? But I will say this, I do have a, a little bit of a curiosity in regards to how can a man be worth billions of dollars ranked with Forbes and the parent company that ended his deal, uh, Adidas is only saying they're gonna lose 240 million. Numbers don't add up. The Balenciaga deal that they said that he got dropped from, it was just a partnership. He came out and said he wasn't making any money from that. The Gap deal, those deals, man, you don't get the, you know, tell somebody that they're not worth anything anymore when the deal ends what about all the money i got before that they're saying that he is worth about 400 million now a lot of people are thinking that that uh that you know that that that's apropos that's what he gets that's what he deserves i look at it like this man 400 million dollars is a lot more than a lot of us is ever going to make in our lifetime man that's generational wealth if he's only worth 400 million 400 million 400 million is a lot of money dog it may not be two billion, it may not be 6.6 .6 or 11 or whatever he said he was worth, but hey man, 400 million, that's a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? In regards to what he, you know, all the stuff that he says and the White Lives Matter shirt and all that kind of stuff, man, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I've seen all kinds of reports that what he's doing is losing the black support. He's losing the support of uh, uh, of the black community and the culture and by him putting out the life, white lives matter shirt that meant something I'm going to say it as plain as possible this right here is Matthew Shack unfiltered I don't support, condone or anything that a man says that's not me period, if it didn't come out of my mouth it, don't, it, it doesn't have any bearing on my life whatsoever I'm going to teach my son in the back it's all about what comes out of your mouth bro whatever comes out of your mouth and who you standing next to that's the, what matters what everybody else says, just because you black and you a man and don't have nothing to do with me, man. Okay? There's a whole bunch of cats that's running around that look like me that's doing stuff that I don't approve of. But the difference is when they do it, I get I get uh you know I get crushed for it in a lot of regards because I have to prove I'm not down with the cause. I don't have to do that with this man. Never met Kanye, don't know him, don't ain't concerned with him, never bought his products. Never supported anything, not because I was against them, but me and him, we got two different things, okay? With that being said, I'm going to say this right now. The people in my community that I know, 
we don't look at Kanye as any any type of a leader to us that we looking at him as a guidance person or somebody who we looking at to follow. He ain't Martin Luther King. He ain't Malcolm X. He ain't Medgar Evers. He ain't he know he he's, he's not any of those people. You know what I'm saying? He ain't Barack Obama. He he's not somebody that we're looking at like, hey man, this guy is a guy that represents us. Never look never looked like that to me at all. But I'll say this, man. That man got to live his life. Whatever he decides to do, don't have no bearing on me. Period. Okay? All I'm saying is, in regards to the to the shoes and stuff, hey, man, you better go buy yourself some Adidas stock. Adidas stock right now is taking a, it's taking a plunge. You want to get into the game? You better buy you some Adidas stock right now, man. It's only going for like less than 50 bucks, bro. They've been having problems. Adidas has been losing money since the pandemic. They have been losing a lot of money. Meanwhile, my Nike stock climbing up a little bit. So look at it from that standpoint, man. I don't get caught up in all the things that I can't control or anything that has nothing to do with uh, what another man says. I don't care if he's black, white, spotted, dotted, whatever relationship, whatever nationality, whatever sexual orientation, whatever uh, religious uh, background. Hey, man, everybody is here. We all on this planet, man. There's going to be people you're going to agree with and people you ain't going to agree with. But what's not going to happen is I'm not going to have this one guy represent me, my son, my brother, my father, my homies, my uncles. None of that. He's Kanye West, man. And that's all. All right, man. Love all y'all out there, man. Matthew Shack Unfiltered.